From VOA Learning English, this is the Health Report. More than 6 million people around the world suffer from Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease makes patients shake and their muscles difficult to move. The disease is incurable and only gets worse over time. Current treatments for Parkinson's are medicine and surgery. But lately, many doctors and patients have become interested in a treatment that is simple, does not cost much, and seems to be very effective. That treatment is exercise. Gary Sobel is a 75-year-old exercise instructor. When he was younger, he was an athlete, but in 2008, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. The condition became severe. Doctors told Mr. Sobel to avoid injuries he should not exercise. He also avoided medications because he was scared of how his body would react to them. Then his hands were shaking so much he could not sign his name. So Mr. Sobel started to take low doses of Parkinson's medicine to reduce the shaking. Once that happened, he started squeezing water from wet towels to strengthen his hands. That simple exercise worked. Mr. Sobel moved on to exercises to strengthen his legs. Then he decided he wanted to help others, so he trained to be an instructor. The medical community noticed the success stories of Mr. Sobel and other Parkinson's patients who exercised. Dr. Heather Ean is a doctor at the University of Colorado. Dr. Ean says new research about Parkinson's is making doctors change their advice to patients. Now, doctors are telling people with Parkinson's to exercise longer, more often, and at higher intensity. She says exercise may help people remain more active for longer. For VOA Learning English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti.